And okay, now we're all going to apologize to my mother. Alright. Yeah, so here we go. We're gonna go downstairs. Okay, we're gonna apologize to mom. And I guess that's her right over there. She's the one that's slightly taller than everyone else. Alright. No, oh, she's really nice about it. She's like, oh, okay, cool, I'm gonna clean up your room. She's gonna clean up my room for me, that's awesome. Awesome. She's gotta go home. Alright. I'm just waiting for one person to be wearing normal clothes in this game. Like, she's wearing a freaking lime green wardrobe entirely. My, my, Saturday. No one's mom talks like that. And she could hear hear us having a fight in the upstairs room, but she didn't bother to try to stop it. Alright. That, that is bad parenting right there. Alright, she is... The green lady is pretty annoying. Bianca, I think her name is. Whatever. Alright. Dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. Okay, town map. Yeah, I'll never use that. Alright. No, uh, we're holding hands and walking down Route 1. Oh my god, this, this is really annoying. It's like crossing the street and you have to hold your parents' hands. Oh boy. And now the professor's gonna teach us how to catch a Pokemon. Alright. I think that you should have the ability to skip this, if you already know what you're doing. Well, I guess since nothing is really happening, I should explain how I'm gonna play this game. Um, I'm not going to take every training into account, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, what happens happens, I'm going to catch anything I want, and uh, I don't think I'm going to use any legendary guys I catch though, because they're pretty much game killers, you know? If you rely on you know, the one legendary guy to take your way through, elite, through the Elite Four, it's not that fun, you know? So I'm going to try not to use the legendary stuff, and we'll just see what happens. And I'm going to skip through any boring parts, and uh, the only reason that this part is in is because I'm explaining things. So, what do we have? We have some water. Okay. I still can't run. I need my, my running shoes. Or just give me a bike. I have an LCD in my, in my bedroom, but I don't have a bike. And apparently that's like a cell phone. Okay. Oh my god, this is... Okay. This is like some kind of AT&T commercial or something. We're doing video chat. Let's get out of here. Back to town. Here we go. We're walking. We're walking. What does this guy have to say? Ah, good. I got a potion from that guy. I was hoping that he would give me a potion. There's always, like the first guy you meet always gives you something. Okay, we're going down. So apparently I went the wrong way. And now we're going back up. And, and we're gonna go to that town that was up there. Oh my god. There's lots of Pokemon happening here. I can't take two steps without running into something. Here we go. A little bit of binder whip. That's cool, the, the Pokemon moves by himself now. Look at that. It's it's too real. It's almost like the real thing. Cool. Alright. And it died. 18 points, that's all it takes. Level 8. And the... The sound of this area is pretty bad. Okay, I'm gonna look another Pokemon. I almost took one step that time. Alright. Yeah, screw this, I'm gonna get the next time, right now. We're gonna do that. 
going around the grass, around the grass. Here we go. Almost there. There's a big sign. Oop. Didn't make it. Got intercepted here by the beaver rat thing. And we're running. And the touch screen doesn't have anything on it, like it did in Soul Silver. I wish it did. Um, so you have to. Oh, I see. You have to press the X button to bring up the, the menu, and that comes up on the touch screen. Oh, there's the professor. Alright, she's gonna tell me to follow her. Oh boy. This is the guide around the town. Oh, this is, uh. This is different. It's almost like a 3D kind of thing. Oh boy. Give it a try. Oh, I would love to rest my Pokemon. Thank you, nice counter lady at the Pokemon Center. And there's the the Link people up there on the top of the stairs. Okay, where are we going next? Ooh, the PC, alright. And usually there is a potion in your PC when you first go on there, so I'm going to check that out. And, yep, someone is the person who made the Pokemon storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay. I seriously can't believe that no one knows who this guy is until I meet him. I, I don't know why the professor on Pokemon wouldn't know who someone is, you know? But, I digress. Oh boy, what's going on here? Is that wait? Oh, that's cool. The the Pokemon Mart's right in there. Okay, they're all in the same building now. That's pretty awesome. Okay, what do we have? Uh, I don't have anything to sell. I don't know why I even checked that. Okay, Pokeball. Let's buy. I don't know, ten. Ten of them. Yeah, ten of them. That'll be good. And the Premier Ball is an added bonus. That's cool. And I'll spend my rest of the money on potions. Alright. So let's uh, get used to all this crap now. Oh look, there's a help button now. Oh boy. I guess I can't figure out how to use this PC in the last game. Uh, nothing in there. That's the professor's PC. Uh, I forgot about that. I've seen five Pokemon. You should try walking through tall grass. Okay, I will do that. There's the Pokemon storage system. What's this? Battle box. Huh. You can register Pokemon you will use. Oh, I guess you can... Like have a preset team or something, so you don't have to go into your box or something. That's what I hope that means. That'd be pretty cool. Because usually I go fishing for all my my Pokemon before a Wi-Fi battle. If I could just go to the battle box, that'd be really cool. All right, something's going on in the plaza. And he just said, "Look, see." That's kind of weird. All right, so there's some kind of. It looks like a Silver War reenactment almost. It's like Gettysburg. What's going on here? His name is... Getsis. Uh, that's a weird thing. And he's representing Team Plasma. And everyone is confused. And this guy's name is Question Mark, Question Mark, Question Mark. I really hope I get to name him. And he's hearing voices or something. Oh, his name is... His name is N. Yeah. This is... This is pretty weird. Okay, so he's some kind of like... Uh, Pokemon activist or something. He's like, an, he's like the animal rights person of the game. And he's gonna battle me with a cat. Alright. Well, let's see here. Uh, what happens if I touch any of these? Nothing. It shows me the battery, though. That's pretty cool. It shows me, like, battery life on my DS. Something that the DS itself could never do. So that's nice. And my attack's gonna lower. Alright. 
And he wants to hear the voice of my Pokemon. That's a little bit odd. But we're gonna go along with it, because I'm going to win. Yep. And it's dealing 3 damage to me. So now I just have to get through this battle, because it's gonna be a growl and scratch, and it's not going to kill me. Fine look, fine look, fine look, fine look. Yep. I'm just gonna do that for a while, pretty much. So, line whip again. Yep, there we go. Alright, that's taken care of, and... Yeah. Looks like it's the end of this disc, so I will continue in just a moment. After this battle is over, I have a few seconds left, so whenever the video cuts out, it cuts out.